Hey everyone, let's explore the bricks and pieces in the Bedrock Adventure by LEGO Minecraft. This is set number 21147, contains 644 bricks. So let me get my head out of the way and we'll see what we got here. So it looks like we have Steve and a couple of annoyances. Try to annoy Alex here while she's trying to mine stuff. And of course we got one of those nasty cave spiders that likes to poison you. Yeah, let's take a look at the back here. So it looks like this build is fully modular. Now, just unlike the other uh, Super Mario sets, I'm hoping this one actually has building guides, which it should. So you got a lot of other things. Now, this is a very long box, that's why I had to get out of the way. So let's head over to the Lego table and see what is inside this package. Well, this one doesn't have those annoying push-in tabs, so we can just use a box cutter for this one. So here we go. Haven't done this in a while. Let's dump it out. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we have several numbered bags. What is that? Five bags. A set of instruction manuals. That's like you get two manuals in total. Well, I'm interested in the bricks, so we'll set those aside. All right. We're going to start with bag one. Get these out of the way. Let's see here. Obviously, this is an older set. And I haven't built an actual set in a while. <laughs> so this is a tree. These bags are kind of like a waste of plastic. They're very harmful towards the environment. So actually have a place that recycles these now. Okay, so let's see what we got in here. We obviously got parts for a treasure chest. And yes, I'm going to open up all the stuff. We got the cave spider and some hinge pieces. This is a shield. This is what on a uh, two by three flat tile. This is obviously parts for the zombie. And we have some pearl silver pants or legs. I've got a TNT block, part of a crafting table, a diamond pickaxe. Let's see, anything else in here like furnaces? Yes, we got the lit furnace. So I'm assuming you probably have the unlit furnace. There it is. And Oh, we've all seen these before. What I'm guessing, these are probably the silverfish, and that is in sand blue. Anything else in here worthwhile? Look at the top of the crafting table. These make good doormats or like artwork for a wall. And of course, we got Steve's head rolling around. That's one way to get skulls in Lego Minecraft. And here's the parts for the creeper and some leaf pieces and tiles. And well, there's the creeper's head. So, I mean, so far, this is just accessory pieces. So, we'll slide this off to the side. Let's start bag two. Okay, so this one is a little bit bigger. And yeah, sometimes I do drag these out a bit. Sometimes when I'm filming these, I just don't know, you know, when to stop. And sometimes you'll see me shake a bag after it's done. I always check them and make sure. You know, let's just save the little ones for later. Okay, so first off, we got ourselves some Plates. I got a four by eight and a, or a six by eight and a six by twelve, and yeah, that's a bit warped, Lego. I'm kind of disappointed with that. Okay, just like with a little bit older Minecraft sets, you get bricks. These are building bricks. You can use these for making mountains or terrain, uh, maybe building bridges. So you get a couple of one by twelves and some of these one by two by five column bricks. 2x4s and a couple of 2x6 plates, some 2x4 flat tiles, and uh, reddish brown, and in dark bluish stone gray. So, I also got a couple of profile bricks too, and 1x2 and 1x4 variants. Uh, you know, more tiles and bricks. It's just basically bricks. We got some of these. Uh, what do you call these ladders, lattices? And some of these one by one modified bricks with 
vertical stick, some hinges, and yeah, a little bit of bricks. Put those over there. And yeah, I'm going to mix these up. So when I actually build this set, I'm going to have fun sorting that. It'll make some good commentary. I don't know if I'll do this live or not. Or well, by the time I have this up on YouTube, it's, you, the live stream has already been passed. All right. So in this little bag, we got a, plenty of these 1x2 bricks with the vertical groove. Those are good for making those roll-up slide sliding garage doors and some one by one plate studs. These are probably like emeralds. And this is probably the stuff for the iron. Now with the new copper update, I wonder how they're going to do that. <laughs> and yes, I do keep up with Minecraft stuff. I know 117 is out. And I, I can't wait for the caves and cliffs update to be a thing, but I think they're saving that for 118. I also have been writing up my own data packs in Minecraft too to expand my gameplay. Can't tell you what those are because, well, I'm not really done with them yet. I'm just kind of tinkering. Okay, so this little bag we got plenty of 2x2 two two jumper plates, 2x2 two two plates, uh, some of these 1x3 half technic beams. I got that name right finally. Uh, one of these 1x1 one one bricks with the horizontal holder. Some 1x1 one one Technic bricks, and some 1x2 jumper plates, and you know, stuff like that. Moving on to bag 3. Let's see what's in here. I know, and by the way, on this side here, you should be able to see an index or a chapters list. And what you can do is you can skip to a chapter. So if you get tired of me rambling or kind of just reminiscing over something or just really going into a bag, you can always switch to the next one. <laughs> okay, so we've got plenty more of these 1x12s, so looks like we got a bunch of these. Got those over there. And looks like this bag is pretty much a rinse repeat of a previous one. So we've got another one of these. Yeah, slightly warp 6x12, and we got a 6x8 plate. And plenty more of these 1x2x5 column bricks. 2x4 bricks, some of these, well, you got a, what, just one of these frames. It's a 4x4 with a 2x2 cutout and some round plates and tiles and more of these ladders and Technic pieces. And, oh, anybody's ever built one of my uh, spruce trees, that's what I use right there, with one of those cobweb pieces. Uh, what do they call that? A 2x2 two two modified plate with eight sticks? <laughs> uh, Sometimes the names that Lego gives these parts, it just doesn't fit. Just call it a, a ring. Could be a parabolic ring, I don't know. Alright, so we've got some more jumper plates, some gold 1x1 one one studs, and a 2x2 two two plate with a hole in the middle, and some of these gears. We've got a little bit of Technic going in here too, and on a dark blue 1x2 plate. Alright, let's see what's in this one here. Yeah, these are still not popular, by the way, but, you know, somebody will say, Jay, where do you get these one-by-one one orange bricks? And I'll be like, oh, <laughs> by then I forget. So you do get a couple of these, like two of them. I can always use these for, like, making pumpkins or something like that really well. So this bag here, we just got some tiles, one-by-one one plates, um, one-by-one one modified plates, Wonderfied plate with a top holder and these bevel gears. These are always good, especially if you're making machines. You can actually put them perpendicular to one another. And some transparent orange studs, and that looks like that's about it. I don't see anything else special in this bag. Okay, let's move on to bag four. Looks like it's almost a rinse repeat of bag uh, two and three. So if I see some goodies in there that may be of interest, making sure everything's out of that one. So obviously the first thing you can see is we do have several transparent blue bricks and slopes and stuff. Uh, you know, these, they're, they're a little too dark to be used for waterfalls, but you could certainly use them for that or making windows. These also make great for spaceships too. So. Looks like I have more bricks and stuff from my transparent bin. Another one of these 
6x12 plates. And this one's not too bad. This is pretty flat. And you get two of them in here, too. Are they both flat? Yeah, they're pretty decent, so that's really good. And you got some... Whoa, where are you going there? Uh, 2 by 6 bricks. And more column bricks. 2 by 4s uh, Got a couple more of these. So this set comes with plenty of 1 by 12 So if you're parting a set out like this just for building pieces or for your uh, online store, that would be great. Now, I don't sell bricks. I hoard bricks. <laughs> okay, I need more orange bricks. Yes, I have that pumpkin, but I need more of those, but in different... Um, sizes and some tiles and other size of bricks and stuff. And I still got another bag too. <laughs> Let's see what's in these smaller bags. Well, I had a dingy dingy of my camera again, so maybe the camera's telling me to uh, pep this up. <laughs> okay, so where did I leave off at before the dingy dingy? We have a couple of these two by two jumper plates. And let's see if there's anything else. Just some plates, studs, tiles, transparent studs, transparent plates. These must be the diamonds. Uh, more weird stuff. So this is just pretty much, at this point, these little bags are usually just full of odds and ends. Stuff that I don't use in my builds if I do very sparsely. And i got to really check this camera make sure my memory card's not full up. Filled up too. So this bag was mostly full of two by or one by two bricks, just tons of those in gray. Finally, we have bag five. This one looks like it's got more than just gray in it. And honestly, this kind of looks depressing. <laughs> oh, 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 there we go. Make sure nothing. All right. So looks like we got some. Some stuff here. Get that out of the way. See some stuff that's printed. So obviously we have some more of these. 6x12 plates. And here we got brittle brown. That's what I call it because this stuff always breaks. It's always come in handy. And some 4x8 plates. 2x6 bricks in dark green. And plenty of transparent bricks in here. Looks like we get green and blue. Uh, a couple of slopes. I use these for the trees, and this is for the water, obviously. Uh, I got a couple of these downwards, one by two by two by two angular plates. And more two by four bricks. Oh, look, a dark. Uh, this is what they call earth green. Two by four bricks, and here we got another one of those slopes, and more bricks. Uh, a one by two brick with two. Studs on the sides, some 1x2x2 by two by two corner bricks, and one apple. It's not a golden apple, it's just a regular apple. So you have to take those gold nuggets, make a couple of bars, and you'll be all set. And this bag here looks like it's mostly just full of jumper plates and smaller bricks. And it does want to open up, making sure the camera doesn't dingy dingy again. Don't you just love when that stuff happens? <laughs> okay. So, there's plenty of jumper plates and some regular plates and a 2x3 flat tile. Um, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a caution sign. Well, maybe it is because it's got an explanation point, so maybe it's a hazardous sign like for hazards. I don't pay attention to those. I just go right on in and just hope I come out in one piece. So, just by looking at all the parts. Yeah, well, I'm not going to lie, other than the colors being depressing, it's, uh, it's a lot to soak in here. Looks like there's more than 640-something pieces, but you get a lot of building bricks. Oh, here's the slopes, um, plates, transparent pieces. You can build something pretty decent out of just these parts. If you're looking for a set, possibly to top off just basic bricks of oddball colors. Like, I consider these oddball colors, except for the gray. This is probably where you want to go. So if you find this set cheap, this is probably what you want to look at. So this is the Bedrock Adventures by LEGO Minecraft. Set number 21147 contains 644 pieces. And yes, that looks pretty massive.